Yes, yes, YouTube is Scissors back with another tutorial. Standing in for my man TD, he's taking a bit of time off. You might have seen him in yesterday's video, which was called Something for the Weekend. Well, I'm following up from that because he has gone on holiday with his two little nip knops, his little bibble bobs, little TD, mini TDs, yeah, he's gone, gone away on a little, little vacation for them because it's half term. Which, if you're in the States, if you don't know what that means, it means like the little kiddies have a little break from school for a week, right? And then uh, they could get to fill their faces full of sweets, come back to school with no teeth. Well, I used to come back home with no teeth, but that was for other reasons, bro. Anyway, yeah, uh, welcome to the tutorial. We're going to be using fabric again, but this time we're going to make some gnarly urban bass sounds, bro. As you can see, we've got fabric loaded onto track one, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go a menu, and we're gonna go a program edit, yeah? And you can see that I've got the init preset, init bruv, yeah? So you tap, double tap on there, like at the bottom of the list, you got, well, not right at the bottom, just one up from the bottom, you got init bruv, yeah? Init bruv. So right, get your init, and then you should have like this triangle, modular triangle wave, yeah? Boo, yeah, boo, boo. We can go down another octave, yeah. Boo, boo. It's a bit low for my voice, yeah. I thought my voice was quite low, but I can't go that low. Boo. Oh, I can. Right, so what we're going to do is make some gnarly bass sounds, bruv, yeah. So what we're going to do first of all, yeah, is we're going to switch on the other oscillator over here, number two. Switch on your number two, yeah, right? Sometimes when you go to the lavatory, you have to switch on the number two. You go for a number one, but then you think, hang on, I need to switch on the number two. What am I talking about? Let's go to layer one, yeah? We're gonna leave that there, yeah? We're gonna go over layer two. This is gonna be like our experimental layer where we do the, you know, the twinky winkies. Not not like Tinky Winky from the Teletubbies or nothing. The t twinkly, tinkly, tinkerings, yeah? What you're gonna do, it's really simple, yeah, right? In amongst all this mental confusion with me being an idiot, yeah? Right, I'm a clown, bruv. Clown, I'm worse than Pennywise, bruv. I'm such a clown. We're gonna adjust the sense. This is otherwise known as your fine tuning, yeah? Right, so check it out, right? I've got my key step pro, I've got this little wicked button called old, yeah? And it holds notes for you. So you like having free hands, innit? It's like you could take your hand off there, you can muck about with your MPC or whatever it is you're using, and you don't have to. Look, it's magic, right? Look. Boo, and it, look, no hands, look, no hands. Well, hands, but none on the keyboard. So that holds that, and then you can go and adjust your, this, look, I'm gonna flick between the two, we're gonna go on this, right, sense, yeah? It's like you're fine tuning. Check this out, yeah? Now we got that wobbly wonky Uva sound, innit? Yeah, bruv. So I reckon around here, 30, yeah? If you press an old shift, you can get exactly on 30. Dirty 30, yeah? Dirty 30, Bassett the Bertie, right? So just gonna leave that now, right? We're gonna come out of here. We're gonna go on the main page, yeah? And we're gonna press that little eye symbol just up the top left above where it says sequence. Look, just there, pop that open up. That's your channel strip, bruv. And then in the inserts is where you can add effects, right? So we're gonna press in there, yeah? We've got four effects slots, as you probably know. If you don't, get a life. Tap on there, yeah? Oh my days. We're gonna close that up, yeah? And we're gonna go to Akai, right? We're in the manufacturer. So it's just looking for manufacturer. And then we're gonna go to down here. Distortion grimy, bruv. This is the magic, yeah? Check this out. It's filthy, bruv, just like your mother. Oh, my goodness. It's too loud, too loud. Turn it down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh I don't, didn't like it. Right, let's get the resonance down, right? Now, what we're going to do is take hold off of there. Take hold off of that, right? Now, what we're going to do is drop the note. I'm going to play a, a lower note. Actually, let's go down another octave, bruv. Check it out. Oh, yeah. So I'm holding that note again, yeah? One sec, one sec. I thought someone was at my door. They might see what I'm up to. Secret bass business. 
Right, check that out. Sounds gnarly, bruv. Sounds wicked. Sounds dirty. Sounds rough. Yeah? Sounds sick, bruv. That's what the kids say. Sick. Sounds sick, bruv. Every time I hear a kid go, yeah, sick, bruv, I just think of vomit. I don't think of something wicked. I don't think of, like, urban dictionary version of sick. I just think of sick. Like, I hope my kids don't grow up saying, yeah, that's sick, bruv. I don't use that word. I don't use that term for things that I think are good. I don't... I've got friends that do, no disrespect, I still love them and all that and all ting. But when people say, yeah, that's sick, bruv, I just think of vomit, bruv. It's whack. Anyway, yeah, back to the tutorial, right? The four parameters that you want to be wary of in here is obviously the output, yeah? You want to bring that down because it might get a bit gnarly, yeah? And then, don't worry about the dry wet for this. You can, like, utilise it in 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 in, 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 uh, in, in uh, another point in your life. But... If you muck about with the center and the width, this is like the frequency that that kind of distortion is really affecting. So check it out, yeah? I'm gonna press my Q-Link button, go over to this side, use my bottom Q-Link. Check this out, right? And you can get a sweet spot. I think I've got it there, yeah? And then you press your Q-Link over this side. Check out, this is the top knob now. I'm gonna control the width, yeah? Anyway, I'm looking for a sweet spot because I could automate those and you know modulate them later, but I'm not gonna. This is why the Akai Force is wicked, bruv, because you can you can get modulation on that thing, yeah. That's why I like that Akai Force, because you can use an envelope follower, yeah, and set an LFO to wobblate some of that business. But look, listen what happens when we crank up the resonance. Check it out. So you get all these tones and textures, but we're just gonna get something moderate in here, right? I want all that nice, dirty, grungy graininess at the top of it. Dirty, grungy graininess. What am I doing that for? Right, so that's all right, we got the distortion grime in. Let's go back to program edit and muck about with some of this business, right? Let's take the old off. And now, remember, we're in layer two, yeah? You can see up the top there, yeah? Layer two, on, off. You can switch it on and off from this page as well, which is wicked, 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 wicked. Right, wicked, what we're gonna do is go to the pitch envelope. You could do some mad things with this, bruv. Over here, where they got the gold bounded box over on the right-hand side, look, yeah? Yeah, we want to crank that envelope depth up, right? Just for now, you might want to taper it down in a bit. But check this out, right? So it's going to sound the same. I'm going to play it an octave up. And what we're going to do is adjust, like, the attack of this. It's going to go up. It's going to give it a ramp with the pitch. Look. Or bring it down, yeah? So you got all those different bass sounds as it declines, yeah? You can drag that out and make it go slower, look. Drag that out there. Drag that over there. Check this out, look. It's gonna go up. That's gonna come back down. And then it's gonna level out, bro. Level out. And that'll just go on for ages like that, brother. And what you can do, yeah, is you can go to menu, you can go to sampler, you can go up to the top left, double tap, you can scroll down to the bottom, bruv, all the way down, look, all the way down, 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 down. Now for bass, I recommend mono, so let's just do resample left, let's double tap where it says stereo, change it to mono, check it out. Right, let's keep that and go at edit, yeah? Process, normalize. Right, it's gonna be well loud, bruv, check it out. Oh my goodness. 
what we can do, yeah, is zoom in, yeah, zoom in, all the way in, yeah, bring the start, get off, bring that start up to there, go process, discard, yeah, let's just bring the end all the way to the start, so we've just got a little bit of the start, and then we could do a little cheeky fade in, so there ain't no pops and clicks, bruv, let's go fade in, Exponent, it's exponential, because that's like, a, that's like a ramp up, quick, don't know linear business going on. Look, you can see there. Get off, right? Look, like that. It's a bit weird with this one because it's so squared off because it's so distorted, gnarly, and gross and disgusting. Rub, it's sick. There you go. Some things need to be called sick because they are right. So, we're gonna go to the main page. Let's just close out. We're gonna go back to fabric. Yeah, we're gonna go up to track two and we're gonna choose a bag of Chris and it'd be fine. Right, let's call this key base because we're going to put a key group here. Like key group, yeah. So anyway, I divulge. Just got a program in it. Let's now add that bass sound. And then we can just bring that level down here a bit. Right, now we've got that as a nice little kind of key group. And then we can just go through here. Get off. And then bring that... You can do all kinds, bruv, yeah. You can go in here, like, start mucking about with the filters and ting, like, bring that down, bring the envelope up, bring the attack up. Yes, bruv. LFO. You can do all kinds of things, bruv. Anyway, let's go back to the plugin, yeah. Let's go back there, program edit, right? That's not off. That's just scratching your ball, uh, scratching the surface, bruv. Hang on, I've got a cup of tea here. I don't want it to go to waste. Don't you just hate it when YouTubers eat and drink and you can hear it and ting? It's whack. Stop doing it. It's unprofessional and it's gross, yeah. It's sick. Anyway, what are we doing? There you go. So, like, I, I highly encourage you to muck about with this pitch envelope. Now, the only thing that I would like to see in here is some way where you could press a button, like a little, like, checkbox or something, and it m duplicates what you've got going here, right? Otherwise, you've got to go, like, layer two. Let's have a look. You've got to go, all right, we've got plus 12 on the envelope. So you've got to go back here, you've got to go pitch. You've got to go on the envelope, uh, boring. Then this is even more tedious, look. Because, like, if you synchronise these, basically, what we got, it's not going to take too long. We've got 4.33 seconds on the attack, all right? So let's go pitch. This is layer one now. Let's see, it's about four point. Let's press shift. Is that right? 433, no, no, it's 4.33 seconds, isn't it? Not 433 milliseconds, you dickhead. 43, see, we can't get an exact 433 as well. That's annoying. Let's double tap on there. Let's see if we can do it in here. Ah, it's gone back to that. Wow, whack butters, mutton, mutton, kitten, mutton, kitten. What? 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 Four, there you go. 4.33. So that's the same. Now we gotta go back to layer two, bruv, yeah, yeah. And we got a decay, what, of 32 seconds? What about this? What about this second attack sound? Attack, second attack, second attack there. I think that is set, yeah. And we got the level attack, level 300%, right? Let's go back there. Level three, where is it? That's gonna bring that up, there you go. Nice, and now, because if they're out of sync, that's when you start getting things going well out of phase and they don't sound that great. But if we've got the same pitch envelope going over both oscillators, it's going to sound wicked, wick, bruv. Wick, wick, Sorry, wick, I'm so wick. aggressive with that. But what's that? 32 seconds and then minus 100. All right, we're nearly there. So was that the sustain? See, I'm forgetting it. It's, it's annoying. Sustain decay. So 32 seconds and minus 100%. Right, so 32, that's a long time, bruv, isn't it? 32 seconds, that's about as long as I last in bed with my missus. What am I telling you that for? What am I telling you that for? 
what am I telling you that for, bro? Right, and then I think the release. Let's go there. That's minus 100 as well and 32. So it's the same for the both of them, right? Okay. Right, 32 minus 100. All right, now check it out. You see, it stays in phase now, yeah? So it is nice to have them out of phase, but we've already, as you might remember, using our experimental layer, as I called it, we've already got this offset here, look. So if we muck about with that, we can control that with the pitch envelope. It just, it's just got to sound wicked, bro. Right, so now we've done that, yeah, look what we can do, yeah. We'll go on our main page. No, we don't want that. So we can go here, right, and we can adjust the depth for the envelope. So let's bring it down to something like minus 5.55, yeah, 5 alive. And let's do that here, minus 0.55. But let's just offset one of them a little bit. You get all this wobbly gobbly dobbly doos. Anyway, you can see the scope from breadth, from depth, from width, from up, from dot, from not, from scope, and dope, and wicked sickness that you can get out of the fabric plug-in synth alongside my favourite distortion in the MPC, the grimy, bruv. And we've not even mucked about with half the things we could do in here, bruv. It's mental. Look, the drive is only up 50%. Look. Wicked, 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 wicked. That is just one example of some dirty, sick bass that you can get out of the fabric plug-in synth alongside a dirty, nasty, bastard, grimy distortion, yeah? I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope TD doesn't kick the living f*** out of me when he gets back from holiday for hijacking his studio. Uh, hopefully. Because, you know, he's a big guy, man. He's about seven foot nine. See you later.